Hello, everyone. Welcome to My The Young and the Restless Homies official channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. The Young and the Restless spoilers for Friday, September 27 suggests that Sharon Newman will be carrying a tremendous load. Sharon will fall into a deep depression after blacking out discovering and disposing of Heather Stevens' dead body. Sharon probably won't remember killing Heather, but she will remember the anguish of discovering Heather was dead and dumping her body down the bridge. Sharon will be haunted by those recollections, which will continue to play on repeat in her head. Cameron Kirsten wants Sharon to keep her guilt to herself and pretend everything is fine. But how can she do that now? Sharon is not a monster, Therefore, she will experience remorse and wonder how things got so out of control. Sharon clearly needs mental health treatment, but she will mourn knowing that it is too late for Heather. Sharon will visit Cassie Newman's grave and have an emotional graveyard meltdown. Will Cassie appear to Sharon while she is there and provide any wisdom? Whatever the case, Friday's program will be memorable since it marks Sharon Case's 30th anniversary on Y and R. It will be a Sharon-centric show with flashbacks to her Genoa City adventure, so Sharon will reflect on her past while also considering her present and future. Sharon must decide what to do next after her walk down memory lane. Will Sharon continue to conceal of Heather's dreadful news, or will she come clean? It's worth noting that the presence of dark attire on set has sparked rumors that a funeral was recently filmed. If Heather's body is not discovered until later, it may be necessary to say farewell. Of course, the show has allowed some wiggle room for Sharon's guilt because no one saw her kill Heather. If this death is true and not a hoax, may someone else be to blame in an unexpected twist. According to the young and the restless spoilers, Sharon is in for a lot of surprises, so we'll keep you updated on her fate and what her next chapter will be like. According to the young and the restless spoilers, Sharon Newman's current plot will reach a climax in Genoa City this week with a special episode commemorating her 30 years on the show airing on Friday, September 27. In an interview with Soaps.com, actress Sharon Case gave a sneak peek she claims that her immediate reaction after reading the script was, how am I going to do this? So fans should ready themselves for a wild trip over the next few days. Case goes on to say that when she saw the special anniversary script, she was on every page and that it was almost a little scary while taping the show. I and our viewers were first relieved during the Wednesday, September 25 episode when Sharon opted not to poison Daniel Romolotti after sneaking into his condo and putting an unknown material in his whiskey. She ended up pouring the vodka down the drain and going against Cameron Kirsten's desires by killing Daniel in order to finally get justice for Cassie Newman's death. Despite the lack of medication, Sharon was thinking clearly when she realized that hurting Daniel would not aid her grieving process. Rather, it would exacerbate the grief of those around her. Of course, just as she was ready to depart, she came across Heather Stevens, who was returning home from a hard day out. Heather and Sharon appeared stunned to see each other. However, the most frightening moment occurred on the Thursday, September 26 episode, when Sharon blacked out and appeared to murder Heather. She even quickly cleaned up the crime scene and dropped Heather's body over a bridge into the river. Still, was this a hallucination? Is this a bad dream? Is this a dreadful fantasy? If Heather's exing was not real, may this scenario have a twist. Perhaps Sharon snaps out of whatever domain she is in, and something bizarre occurs to her. There is always the possibility that this scenario will change and Heather will accidentally kill Sharon in an attempt to defend herself, or Sharon will be involved in a car accident while fleeing the police or loved ones. It will be interesting to see how Sharon's anniversary show plays out. After all, if Sharon truly ended Heather on the Thursday, September 26th episode, 
it would be unusual for Soap to follow up with a tribute episode for Sharon. Will they focus on what she has overcome or all of her previous mistakes? Fans may recall a special broadcast about Colleen Carlton in 2009 when she was kidnapped by Patty Williams. When the rug was pulled out from under fans, it appeared like Colleen would survive the experience, but she died. The storyline twist definitely caught the audience off guard. So could this special episode serve as a tribute for Sharon's time at GC? Could Sharon die this week? Could Case be departing the show? Fans were outraged earlier this year when Sharon had no clear plot and didn't come on canvas as frequently as they would have wanted. Perhaps Sharon was simply put on the back burner for a brief while. After all, Jordan's storyline was hot and heavy, dominating the canvas at the time. Did Sharon Case want to go away from the soap? Perhaps Sharon Case is ready for a new chapter or to take a break from the show. Sharon's plot line has sparked so much interest among viewers, thus the plot shock of Sharon's death would undoubtedly be a great surprise. The young and the restless spoilers warn viewers to expect the unexpected, so it'll be intriguing to watch how Sharon's current tale concludes and what occurs during her special episode. The Young and the Restless spoilers for the week of September 30, October 4 show that Audra Charles will continue to plot her retribution against Kyle Abbott. The goal will be to push Kyle out of Glissade, but Audra must be cautious or her scheme may backfire. Audra is already on thin ice with Victor Newman, who has advised his co-CEOs not to compete with each other. That plan isn't going so well. So we'll see if Audra can gain an advantage or if Kyle comes out on top. Of course, Audra could eventually turn Kyle's personal life against him. We all know Audra isn't afraid to play dirty, so it'll be fascinating to see if she uses his growing romance with Claire Newman to her advantage, or at least to distract him. Meanwhile, Victor will plot daring actions against Billy and Jack Abbott, so Abba Chancellor and Jabo may face new turmoil shortly. Sally Spectra will soon meet Billy again for another bonding session. Sally dismisses Audra's suggestion of hitting the sheets with Billy, but may she eventually conclude it's not so bad? Billy and Sally will continue to be drawn to each other, but Billy may consider giving Chelsea Lawson another chance. Phyllis Summers has been attempting to get Billy to reconsider his breakup decision with Chelsea. Whenever the case, Adam Newman isn't giving up on his desire to reunite with Chelsea, so her love life could become increasingly complicated. Naturally, I and our viewers will witness the consequences of Sharon Newman's breaking point. Sharon requires immediate mental health treatment, which may become even more apparent once she causes harm to Heather Stevens. Nick Niven has been positioned as the hero of Sharon's story and the guy she can most rely on. Will Nick come through for Sharon when it counts, finally getting her the assistance she requires? According to the Young and the Restless spoilers, the week of September 30, October 4 will be full of surprises, so we'll keep you updated on any developments regarding Sharon's mental health. So what do you guys think about this update? Let me know in the comments below. If you like my videos, please like and subscribe for more information. I'll see you guys next time.